So, so far we have just seen some very simple expressions involving one mathematical operator whether it is plus or true division or floor division or remainder or exponentiation. But many times we have many pieces of data to compute with and we will end up writing complex expressions like this one. So what is the result of a complex expression like this? Well, one thing of course we can do is try it out in the REPL. But here is something else I want you to get good at. As we learn the Python uh, language, as we get comfortable with the terminology, you will find that you are more easily able to look up the Python documentation and understand what's going on. I want to warn you that unfortunately the Python documentation uses lots of technical terminology. So the first time you try and read this documentation, you might feel a bit overwhelmed. Oh my God, there are so many terms here that I don't understand. But I want you to feel confident that as you and I explore some of these uh, terms and understand what they mean, I want you to feel confident that you can go back to the Python documentation and understand more and more of this documentation. So let's see if we can go to this particular link and read the information that is there. Now because that information is complex, I am going to simplify it a little bit for you. There is this statement which we will read carefully together and it talks about a table. Now if you go to the link I told you, the actual table is more complicated than this because it turns out there are many, many more operators that uh, are available to you in the Python language. Since we haven't seen many of these operators, I've simplified it, uh, the table for our understanding. But the documentation says that the following table summarizes the operator precedence which means it tells us in which order operators will be applied. You see, if you look at this expression, one way to imagine how it's evaluated is we first do multiplication because we all remember from school our bod maths rules which tell us that multiplication is the more powerful operator. That's the one we should do first. So we would first multiply 2 times 3 and get the answer 6 and only then would we add it. But another perfectly reasonable way of uh, trying to make sense of this is well we'll just sort of process it in the order it was written. After all I told you that the REPL reads. So while it's reading it, it might say oh well they typed 1 and then plus 2 and 1 plus 2 is 3 and then 3 times 3 is 9. So unless we read the official documentation which describes these and many other details uh, for us, we may not know it. Of course we could try it out in the REPL but it's better to confirm our uh, understanding by reading the documentation. So the table summarizes operator precedence from highest precedence which means the most binding or the strongest operation to the lowest precedence. So in our bod mass rules for example multiplication has higher precedence than addition but is that the case over here. So the table lists them from highest precedence to lowest precedence and Operators in the same box have the same precedence. So as an example, multiplication and uh, true division and floor division and remainder are all in the same box in this table. Which means that if you have an expression that has multiple of these, then there is no order of precedence. They all have the same precedence. So then what happens? Well, this sentence explains that. It says operators in the same box group left to right. So if this was, let's say, uh, uh, floor division, then one floor division two times three would group as first doing one floor division two. One floor division two is zero. 
and 0 times 3 is 0. So let's try and understand what we can. For this expression which has a plus and a star, it says the, the first operation is the one that's higher up in this table and we can see that star multiplication is higher up than plus. So that tells us that Python works just like our normal bod mass rules. We will indeed first multiply and so the answer is indeed 7. If we wanted to get the answer 9, we would use brackets, just like in our bod mass rules. Brackets come first and you can see that brackets or parentheses are highest in this uh, precedence. So that would give us the opportunity to first add and then we would multiply with 3 to get the answer 9. Now what about this expression? This uses exponentiation, the star star operator. And once again there are probably two ways in which you could imagine this could be evaluated. First we could take 2 to the power 3 and raise that to the power 4. And if we follow the normal rules of exponentiation, you will convince yourself that you will get 2 to the power 12. On the other hand, this could be first calculate 3 to the power 4, which is 81, and then do 2 to the power 81, which is a huge number. Which one is it? Well, we read the documentation and it tells us except for exponentiation which groups right to left. So indeed this grouping where we first calculate 3 to the power 4 and then do 2 to the power that is correct and that means this answer is a very very large number. If you actually tried on a standard handheld calculator to calculate 2 to the power 81 you either will get some sort of an error message or you will get an inexact answer. If we try it, in Python however, we get a perfectly correct answer.